so on this cooler day, um, so close to my last frost, I thought it would be a perfect day to start my, uh, my annual flowers. I probably should have done that already, but I really don't have enough space in my seed starting rack, um, especially now that I've separated all of my poppies and all of my pansies um, into their own cells so that they have room to actually grow. Um, I've kind of run out of space to start new things, but I got some new um, seed starting six cells and four cells from Epic Gardening. Um, Kevin sent these over to me to try, and um, so far I've been really impressed with these. Um, they're, I got the bigger ones too, hold on. I got these bigger ones as well and they're really sturdy and I'll show you um, in a little bit how sturdy they are. I'll insert a clip of me standing on one of these. I hope you can um, see that on the ground right here. Right? And then I'm going to put my full weight on it. That's how strong they are. And I've zoomed out so that you can see that no one's helping me, no one's touching me. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> I gotta work on my balancing skills, but look at that, it's holding me up. Because that's how sturdy they are, you know, these these other ones that we've got over here are super flimsy. These are just from Amazon, and I have a bunch of these, and I use them a lot. Um, but they rip, and they're not super sturdy. And these are, they're, they're, they're real sturdy. <laughs> I can't even get them to really bend. I've already been using these for um, about a week or so. Um, so far I've been really pleased with how well they um, they soak up water from the bottom. I like to bottom water in the trays. Since there's more soil contact with water here on the bottom, there's more of a hole, more space for the water to make contact with the soil. It does a much more efficient job at uh, soaking up the water. So I really like that and uh, I'm excited to see how I like getting the seedlings back out of these. Uh, since you don't squish these, you poke your finger or your thumb and it pops the whole thing out. That's an exciting innovation. I really like the way that these are designed and I'm excited to continue to try them out and review them for you guys. Um, I've got a whole bunch of Cosmos, Zinnias, Nasturtium, um, sunflowers, some marigolds, and um, a few other things. Oh, and we're gonna do basil too, because that needs to get started. I miss some, some fresh basil. Fresh basil is fantastic. I've got Bright Lights Mixed Colors Cosmos. These are from the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's American Seed Company, and I really like these. I grew these last year and they did really well. Um, and they're super affordable, so if you're just starting out, these are something that I definitely recommend. I've got um, Sensation Mixed Cosmos. Uh, this is from Crossman Seed. I um, found this company uh, through my friend Josh at uh, the City Stead. He does like a feature, uh, or at least he, he did for a while, of uh, smaller seed companies that you can uh, buy from. And so this is one of the ones he featured and I was able to find some really neat things at this company. Uh, the next one is, whoop, this one is the Little Princess uh, Cosmo and it's having a hard time focusing on it. These ones are dwarf cutesy, and um, these are from Fairy Morris, as you can see. I picked these up because I really like the color combinations, so I'm excited about have the, having these in there. I know they're really uh, similar to the Sensations mi mix, so we'll put them real near each other and see if they're the same or not. <laughs> these ones are called Fizzy Rose Picote. Uh, Cosmos. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm saying them right, but they're from Baker Creek and I thought that they were really stunning. I like that they are white with a pop of like the purple pink on the outside and in the middle. I also got Black Magic Cosmos. <laughs> they're really pretty. I love, I'm a sucker for these deep, deep purple flowers. Um, so I'm excited about this one. I hope it's as um, stunning in person as it is in the picture. 
And then the last variety of Cosmos for this season, um, at least that I have currently in my possession, are uh, Apricot Lemonade Cosmos. These are also from Baker Creek, and I think they're actually new for this season. Um, but I really like their delicate coloring. They're um, kind of like a baby pink, pastel pink flower with um, a little bit of like a very slightly lemonade yellow on the petals. I just, I find these absolutely stunning. Okay, so the next group of flowers are my favorite. They're zinnias, so I have quite a few of them. Um, so let's get this party started. <laughs> okay, so in no particular order, I've got a Kit Kat next to me. Hi. Do you like these ones? Uh, I would like to see a pink one. You would like to see a pink one? Yes. There's a pink one. All right, so we're gonna start with the um, Envy Zinnia. These Ooh, are from, pretty. doesn't it? These are from Burpee, and I think they're really beautiful. I'm gonna pair them in a more um, muted front garden. I'm not sure what I'm doing with these, to be honest with you. I just think that they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. The next one is the Polar Bear Zinnia. All right, and we have the Queen Lime Red Zinnia from Baker Creek. Um, the next one is this Burpee um, Color Crackle Zinnia. I thought that it was really neat that uh, it kind of had like pops of white in the red. A Fairy Morse um, Scarlet Flame Zinnia. And Baker Creek Will Rogers Zinnia. I grew these last year and they are to die for. They are absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Luminosa Pink Zinnia, Baker Creek's Giants of California, Baker Creek's Scabiosa, Barry Morse uh, Early Bird, the American Seed Co. Giant Cactus Mixed Colors, Fairy Morse Candy Cane, uh, American Seed, and these are the Pumelia Mix, these are American Seed Lilliput Mix. Fairy Morse Giant Lavender, Crossman Seed Deep Purple. Uh, this is a Fairy Morse called Mini Zinni Mixture. It's got a blend of Thumbelina, Button Box, Pumila, and Lilliput. And these were my favorite last year. These were the Cupid Mix from Baker Creek, and they are a little bit smaller. They're not as tall as like the full size Zinnias. They're kind of like a dwarf variety. But what I love about them is the shades of the blooms. They're like this, these beautifully rich jewel tones like that you just don't see in other mixes. They're not just your normal pinks and oranges. They're like a jewelly tone, like a bold, you know, like the Crayola's colored markers that were bold rather than regular. It's kind of like a jewel bold toned Zinnia mix and I really love the colors that popped out of those. Um, the nasturtiums, I've got all of your like regular jewel tone mixes of nasturtiums, Alaska mix, the Empress of India, you know, the normal um, nasturtiums that you would find at the store. Um, so I won't show you those, but this one from Seed Savers Exchange is called a Black Velvet Nasturtium. I wanted to show you guys this one because I thought it was a stunning shade and I hope that it uh, comes out as, as dark and stunning as the picture is. And then I did want to show you just a few other things. Um, I've got the regular um, like French marigolds, those are gonna get started, and the Cracker Jack marigolds, those will get started. Um, but I did find, but I did find these two that I thought were really interesting. This is a Fairy Morse variety called Eskimo marigolds, and I really like um, just how puffy, I don't know, it kinda looks like a cotton ball to me, and I think that's really neat. And then, um, the Baker Creek Orange Flame Marigold. Uh, I really like the way that these looked. And um, so I picked some of those up too. As for sunflowers, the ones that I'm most excited about are these Burpee Chianti Hybrids. Um, 
these Fairy Morse Ruby Eclipse sunflowers I thought uh, looked really interesting. Uh, the white on the outside of the petals with the burst of red in the middle. Um, it's really beautiful in my opinion. And the last one is these Baker Creek chocolate cherry sunflowers. They're really deep, deep purple red as well. And I'm super excited to get these started. All right, so it's been a few days since we started our flowers and um, I have a lot of action going on over here. Thankfully, we've had just enough space under the lights to keep everything happy. And I wanted to show you what's been popping up already. We've already got some Cosmos, some Zinnias, a few other things and everything's looking really good. And I did want to give you a little bit of an update on the six cells, on um, the pansies and stuff that we had up potted. All right, so here we've got some zinnias starting to pop up. The, the mini zinnia mix is doing really well. Everything else is taking a little bit of a time. And then right here we've got some sunflowers. One little bitty sunflower start coming up right there. There it is, that little bitty sunflower start right there. And we've got these beautiful zinnias popping up here too. Here's our Cosmos. They're all doing really, really well. Still waiting on the black magic and the sensations to come up, but I'm confident that they'll be soon. Over in this last tray here, we've got a whole bunch of Cracker Jack Mix Marigolds popping up. Back there, we've got the Orange Flame Marigolds and the Eskimo Marigolds doing really well. We've got a lot of action going on here with our beautiful sunflowers. These are my special ones that I showed you, all the darker colored ones that I'm excited about. And back here we've got Royal Carpet Purple Alyssum, and I already have the Carpet of Snow Alyssum down here, and it's doing so well it's blooming, so it'll be a purple version of this. I'm just waiting for it to stop freezing overnight so that I can set it out um, in between the rocks in the front. All right, so here are the pansies and the epic six cells. I up-potted them about three weeks ago and they're really filling out and they look really nice. Um, but what I really like about this is um, the root growth on the outside here. It's going through the sides instead of getting root bound and I really like that. It has the ability to breathe out the sides and have more root growth without it getting root bound. That's so neat. I really like that aspect of it. So not only is it easier for the water to soak up the from the bottom because of the amount of soil to water contact, it also allows the roots to breathe more easily and I really love that. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I really had fun starting flowers with you today and showing you the progress of how they've been doing so far. And also getting to try out the Epic Six and Four Cells have been so much fun lately. Um, they've been so great and I'm really enjoying trying them out. So um, I'm glad that you got to hang out with me today and I got to hang out with you today. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys.